anything? Was there anything that like, like was a plateau for you that you had a breakthrough and then you had this moment where you realized, okay, this is the thing that, that unlocked it for you. Was there anything like that? Um, so yeah. So for me, like, I think it was like up till about seven, seven years ago, maybe eight years ago. I like everyone else, you know, growing up, like when you're surfing, like everyone just wants to use shorter boards, even till now, right? You got the best surfers in the world. Everyone wants a downsize, even Kelly Slater, you know, Kelly Slater's on the tour and then he'll be using five eights at Margaret river when it's fricking, uh, what, 10 feet, you know what I mean? And that's the goat. That's the greatest of all time. And you would think like, if you listen to him, that's the direction you would go. And yeah, maybe, I don't know, but you know, that's why we are all our own people and I have my own opinions and the way I surf and whatever. That's no, I'm not even relating towards him. He is the goat, but I would just never surf a 10 foot wave on a five, eight, no matter how, whatever. Well, maybe I would, I shouldn't say that, but like, that's just in my head, you know? So the difference is, is like anyone else, I was surfing a smaller board for a really long time, uh, like a short board. And I was surfing uh, my home break and it's the point at Hokipa. And I just realized all the time I would surf, uh, like once the waves got like four or six feet, I was just like, when I push off the bottom, I just always would skizzle out. You know what I mean? When I was riding shorter boards uh, and a little bigger surf, I started just like skipping out on my rail all the time. And then when I'd be doing like a drop in on a little steeper face and I'd be coming out to the face, I felt like I just had to like do the turn. But if I pushed any harder, I'd kind of like skip or, you know, my fins would break out. Long story short, there was this guy, his name was, uh, his, his name's Mike Crow and he's from here and he's a, uh, he's a, I believe he's a sergeant. He's a cop. Uh, he's been here forever. And this dude was a big dude. He was like sunny. And he started riding really big boards. Like he'd ride like big boards. And he was just freaking ripping. Like, bra. Like it looked like he's just riding this big board, but he was doing turns. Like he looked like he was just surfing like a short board. And he was coming off the bottom on these like six to eight footers, just deep and just like ripping. And I was like, holy shit. And then what helped is i started i ended up getting a bigger board i started riding like a 6.6 six. and to this day no one like if you come here like people trip out all the time they're always like like friends even get weirded out like why are you riding like a 7 0 i'm like bro we've been through this it's like been years i just like have fun doing it but i mean i probably get a little geeked out about it like surfing big boards and small waves but yeah so i ended up really I feel like I had a aha moment when I was watching him surf and I was like, man, okay. So I put in the time and I started surfing a six, six. And then I, I started like being able to push and really like dig my rail. And I started getting like the feeling like that. I don't want to say muscle memory, but I started like realizing like, whoa, this is what it feels like to really dig your rail in, like to really push and use your rail mm -hmm. properly. And then after I started doing that, and I started jumping back down on my smaller boards. My turns just started getting more crisp. Like everything just started flowing better, you know, in like little, sh like when I was jumping on my short boards. And I think a lot of people can relate to this. Like if you jump on a bigger board and you jump on your small board, it almost feels like more whippy. But for me, it was more like I started learning. Like if I would, when I started doing turns on my short boards, and I'd like kind of go flat. I was like, oh wait, like I'm going flat because I'm not engaging my rail. So like when I was riding my big boards, I started learning how to just arc off my rail. And then when I downsize and go back on my sharp boards, I started understanding like, oh, okay. I have to like put it more on an edge when I'm turning. And then that's kind of when I had like my breakthrough of like being able to like, I don't know, like use my rail like power surf right. and um yeah but even before that i was using like i'm only 5'8 so i've always been actually using a little bigger short boards i use like 5'11 6'0s those are my short boards you know yeah sorry if that was so way off so 
<laughs> oh, I, that, that was that was super helpful. So the question that I have there is, you know, you talk. So is it was it a matter of you weren't pushing hard enough, or was it a matter of um, just not you having because you. you Go ahead. You know, not engaging the rail properly is that because of your, your foot placement is it because you weren't applying the pressure at the right part of the wave or was it just you weren't applying enough pressure in general or yeah break that down a little bit more for us I'm, I'm curious yeah i think it was just not applying the right technique not the right pressure so and also like um a lot of it is a uh, upper body movement too it's um it's rotating your your head and having the right technique in the sense of like you're putting the right pressure on your rail line but it's also the right movement on your upper body and um and that's what it was so when like when i was riding my step ups i really got to feel like um the rotation of my hips better than i would on my shortboard because there's more room for error on a shortboard some it's it, it's harder to actually well, this is in my opinion because there may be, there's probably a lot of really amazing surfers who just surf short boards, you know, and just like they've learned to develop right. a good rail line. But for me, it was like when I jumped on a little bigger board, I started understanding how to rotate my hips and, and that's what it is. You know what I mean? It's, it's when you're doing a turn and you're staying compressed on your edge, it's also moving, rotating your your head and your body with the right with the same momentum of your your board does that make sense yeah and um so it's like kind of everything coming in at one it's using your rail line but it's also just rotating your body properly 